Hi, I am Movie Man. I am an octopus who reviews movies. And today's review is going to be on... Now, you're probably wondering... Movie Man, Trolls Fan Together doesn't come out until next month. Why are you reviewing it already? Um. Well, it's simple. Because, well, Trolls Band Together releases in America November 17th. However, over here in Ireland, we actually got it nearly an entire month before America did on October 20th. Yeah, shocking. Can you believe it? Um, although, uh, from what I remember, I'm pretty sure back in 2016, the first Trolls movie actually also came out in Ireland like a whole month before America did. Um Yeah, but um anyway, so I I went to see Trolls Band Together uh there the other day. And yeah, um I'm gonna be honest, I actually thought this was not a bad film. No, I actually rather enjoyed this one. Um, I would even go as far as to say it's probably the best of the Trolls trilogy. Um, or the Trollogy, I should say. Um, anyways, let's get further into my thoughts on Trolls Band Together. So... Anyways, first off, the animation in this film is is really really good. Um, now, yeah, granted, considering that this film is you know from DreamWorks, um, that's not really too much of a surprise. But um, no, not gonna lie. The animation in this film is very good. Um, I I think of all three of the Trolls movies, this is honestly easily the best one animation wise. Um, because um, like like I mean um, the like the call like um. Like, they like, it's got some really nice colors, and, you know, well, that is to be expected with these films, but, you know, um, like, everything just looks so bright and colorful, and it's honestly just really nice to look at. Um, um, I like not to mention, um, like, um, like I mean, even the even the movements like of the cars, like for example, in the previous Trolls movie, um, Trolls World Tour, um, what an issue I had with Trolls World Tour is that I felt as if the characters moved a bit too quickly, like um. The car like in Trolls World Tour, the characters seem to move at this really fast pace, and uh, I just did not like it, honestly. Um, but here they actually fix that problem because um, well the characters can they can they still move out of quickly, but they don't. But but it's not quite as much as it's in World Tour, so. That was very much an improvement, so yeah, I thought the animation of the film was very good. Then we have the p 
case in this film. Now, this is, honestly, this is not a long movie at all. Um, this film is only 90 minutes in length. Um, just like both of the Trolls movies are. Um, and honestly, um, I felt this movie kind of has like, um, kind of a, a, a kind of a fast enough pace. Like I felt like everything was kind of going at a bit of a fast pace. Um, but it wasn't really something which bothered me too much. I didn't really feel as if, um, you know, it was going by too quickly or anything. Um, despite, despite the film having a quick enough pace, I was, I felt like it moved through the story smoothly enough. Um, and I didn't really feel like it was rushing too much. Um, and I think the pace in this film is very much improved from Trolls World Tour. Because another problem I had with Trolls World Tour was that despite the film, again, just like this one, only being 90 minutes in length, uh, it actually felt longer than 90 minutes. Um, like, it just re it really felt like it was going on for some time. Um... But here I didn't really have that issue because here I, I pretty much, I felt it was going at, um, you know, like a, a, a quick enough runtime, but not too quick. So I felt like it was just rushing too much. So the pace in this movie wasn't amazing, but I thought overall it was quite solid. Um, now, uh, then we have the music in the film. Now... The Trolls movies have, you know, they've always had, like, um, a huge, like, influence on music. Because, you know, and pretty much all, all, the, all these movies are pretty much jukebox musicals. Um, and I'm not, and well, obviously, once again, they got, like, a bunch of, you know, big songs in there. But the songs that... They did guess uh, for this film. They were very good. Um, again, very much improved from Trolls World Tour. Because in World Tour, I just found it really annoying when they would just start playing all these big songs and stuff. But here, I didn't mind it too much. Like, I felt like, um, despite there being a lot of big songs, I thought they did well enough with them. And they were actually nice to listen to. And there is one or two new songs in this film, like original songs made from the movie. And I'm not going to lie, some of these new songs are actually, surprisingly, really good. Like, I'm not going to lie. Because um, in the previous two films, they always they have like these new song numbers. I always just find them really annoying, but... Here it was actually it, they were actually genuinely really nice to listen to um so yeah I actually thought the film did very well in terms of its music a huge step up from the previous two films um then we have the characters so returning from the from the previous two movies we we have the main two protagonists poppy and branch um i saw once again poppy and Br branch they they were both i, I thought they I, I mean i thought i thought poppy was a good enough character um i, I like how in, in this film she she was because uh, in because i like how in this movie it's kind of really branch who is kind of the main protagonist here and Poppy kind of takes the second seat. Um, and I thought it worked much better. Um, nonetheless, Poppy was still a likable enough character. Um, and then we have Branch, who is pretty much the main character in the film. As, you know, it, really, it focuses on like his past with his brothers and stuff. And honest, Branch has pretty much always been my favourite character in these movies. And... 
In this film, he is very good. Uh, I, I like, I, I mean, I, again, I loved how I mean, it went into his whole past with his brothers and everything. Uh, I, I, I thought it was interesting to see how he struggles with it all and stuff. Um, so I thought Branch's character in this film was really well done. Um, outside of Poppy and Branch, um, we also have Tiny Diamond, who is back from the previous film. And obviously in the previous movie, I thought he was a little bit annoying. Granted, he wasn't on screen for too long, but whenever he was on screen, he was a bit annoying. And well, he's given a much bigger role in this film as he pretty much comes along with Branch and Poppy on their journey and stuff. And I and I'm not gonna lie, I actually quite liked him as a character in this film. I'm not gonna lie, um, I actually thought. He was pretty funny in this movie. Um, like he pretty much delivers um a lot of laughs. Like in particular, there was one joke of his which literally just had my whole cinema, myself included, just burst out laughing. So yeah, Tiny Diamond was really good in this film. Uh, outside of Tiny Diamonds. All of Poppy and Branch's other friends, they're not really in this film. Like, they, I mean, they, they're they at the beginning, but after that, once, once Poppy and Branch, you know, they go on their journey and everything, all their other friends are actually never seen again for the rest of the movie, and... I'm not gonna lie, I actually prefer that, um, because, well, I just, I just thought it was, it was much better having less of them around and stuff, um, see, I, I thought that, I thought, I, I, I thought that aspect worked very well, um, so for the new characters, we have, um, all of Branch's brothers, um, John, Dory, Spruce, Clay, and Floyd, and I thought they were all good enough characters. Like I mean, I I liked how um the film showed them all at the beginning, showing how they left the bands and and and, and so I thought so like and and so, and so we do we get introduced to each of them throughout the film and um what they've been doing since they left and. I thought the film did a good job focusing on all them and, you know, um, how they grew apart from each other and stuff. So, and, so, and I thought they were generally quite good characters. Um, and, then, and then we have um, Viva, who turns out to be Poppy's long-lost sister. And she was a fine character like she was okay but um like the film kind of explains like how she was separated from poppy and stuff and i'm not gonna lie the film did a pretty weak job explaining that whole part of the plot and everything i just I thought that part just could have been done much better. Um, outside of that, Viva was okay. She was fine. Um, uh, the, now then there's the villains of this movie. Um, Velvet and Veneer. Um, um, yeah... I'm not gonna lie, they were kind of pretty weak, like, I mean, I mean, I won't go too much into their characters, but, like, what I will say is that, um, like, they're, you've pretty much seen these kinds of villains before, and, um, I, I like, they're, they're just, they, I, they just weren't that 
interesting. They're not as bad as Queen Bar, but they're just still they weren't really like that I didn't find them that interesting as villains, um and honestly at times Velvet just felt like like a discount version of Big Jack Horner from Puss in Boots Last Wish. Um so yeah, I thought Velvet and Veneer were kind of weak as villains. Um, I'll admit their little like pet creature known as Crimp was actually kind of cute though. I liked her character and what the film did with her and stuff. Um, the characters in this movie overall were solid enough. Um, they weren't great or anything, but. They were, you know, they were good for the most part anyways. Um, so for the plot of this film, um, like the plot of this movie, um, um, like, I mean, I'll be honest, this film actually kind of seems to, for the most part anyways, kind of ignore the events of Trolls Short. Now it doesn't completely, like it still acknowledges what happens, you know, we still have Tiny Diamond and stuff, but... The events of Trolls World Tour aren't really acknowledged that much in this film. We don't really see it. We don't really see him. Um, don't really see how much has changed since World Tour. Um, like, outside of having Tiny Diamond there, this film kind of wants you to forget that World Tour ever happened. And... I'll be honest, I think that's definitely for the best because um like you could you could pretty much make a sandwich out of the plots of the first two movies, you know, and But like here I thought it had a much better plot of, you know, going into like how branch how branch like how his past with his brothers and everything. I thought I thought it was a good enough plot and I thought it was very much improved um, from the plot of the previous movies. So, the plot of this film was solid enough. And, yeah, again, it was very much improved from the previous film's plots. Um, and then we have the narrative structure. And, um, like, there's a good bit in here. Um... About like siblings and stuff. Um, because you know we have Branch reuniting with his brothers, kind of showing how they all kind of like f like fell out with each other, and um, of course we also have um, Poppy so plot with her sister and everything, and we have the plot about Velvet and Veneer. It really does focus on. Branches subplot for the most part. I think it does well with that plot. Some of the other plot aspects I wasn't really a huge fan of, but I thought the I thought the film did a good job focusing on the main plot with Branch and his brothers. Um, like there was definitely a theme of siblinghood throughout the movie, and yeah, I thought the film did a good enough job with this. Well, I mean, it wasn't great in terms of, like, um, in terms of Poppy subplot or with Velvet and Veneer, but in terms of Branch, I thought it did a very good job. So, overall, Trolls Band Together was actually surprisingly okay. Like, I mean, I think of the three Trolls movies, this is definitely the best one by far. Because um, I thought it had a much better plot. Um, uh, like, and with focusing on Branch and his brothers, um, there was also, of course, there was also some very good animation and some surprisingly really good music in there, too, to back it up. Um, now that's not to say this is a great film, like, um, it still is flawed in certain areas involving some of the other subplots and. Uh, I do think of the three DreamWorks movies we've gotten this year, this one is definitely the weakest. It's probably the weakest animated film I've seen this year so far. I'll we'll have to see how Wish does, but other than that, I still thought this was um, 
I know it was an okay movie and it was the best trolls film and if you want to bring your kids to see this then I'd say this would be a good watch so with that I am going to give trolls band together a strong 6 out of 10 so with that I'll see you guys next time and bye